Hey everyone, Chris here from Roundtable Co-op, having a look at Dinosaur Fossil Hunter. There's been a new uh, version 2.1 update just released uh, last week, and I haven't played this game since prior to the Kickstarter even, back in 2020. So thank you to the developers at Pyramid Games. Pyramid Games presents Dinosaur Fossil Hunter. All right. So basically you've got to build a museum from scratch, but this this kind of starts you off in like a bit of a preview uh, museum with some awesome fossils there. So it'll be interesting to see how this game has changed since uh, 2020. Let's go have a look. We're slowly running out of space in the museum. Who'd have thought it has all started so innocently? When I was four years old, I loved to draw dinosaurs. So we got a bit of a connect the dots kind of drawing here. So this so far is the same start as the 2020 demo, which is not bad. It's a cool way to get you invested in the game. Just connecting all the dots, drawing an awesome dinosaur. A little bit rough. Nice, but I like it. Continue. It was one of the most exciting days of my life. When I was eight, I found my first fossil. Okay. All right, so we're into it now. Uh oh. There we go. Hey, there it is. All right, so we'll take the fossil. I lost it half a year later. At the age of 14, nearly all I could think about was putting together and painting dinosaur models. I was getting better at it. Okay, let's see how they improve this bit. This one comes with a manual. It's dead simple. Yep. Yeah. So it's not as easy when you get to the full game as this. Boom. Oh, okay, we got to do three. This one's tougher. There's no manual, but I have the sketch at least. Uh huh. Oh, no, it's still kind of the same. This doesn't give you the automatic um, highlight. Oh, it sometimes does. Noise. sketches just sheer knowledge and skill oh wow here we go okay yeah right okay so now it's a little tougher oh okay now it's okay I shouldn't have spoken so loud
All right, we're getting there. We're getting, we're trying to picture the the end result. Uh oh, maybe because I, aha, uh -huh. cool. Maybe I could use more practice and build one of them again. No. Let's see, what difficulty level should I go with this time? We're good with that. I even won a local talent show once. They loved my triceratops. A couple of years later, the money I had received as a reward in that competition turned out to be of an invaluable help. Hmm. Adventure of a lifetime in your 20s? Well, I think it's possible. I was exactly 20 years old when I found an article about a paleontological group in a newspaper. Turned out they needed volunteers who were willing to work in the north of the country. It was a long shot, but I didn't want to miss such a great opportunity. I took a risk and signed up for the job. As you probably imagine, it paid off. All right, so we got gameplay tips. They're shown in the upper right corner of the screen. You can also read them on the tablet notifications tab. Notice hints for shortcuts in the top left corner. And then important objects display a description in the lower left corner of the screen when hovered over. For interactive objects, additional information appears below the cursor. In some cases, a third hint will be the color of the pointer, green or red. Okay, the icons on the compass hide with growing distance. On the map of your tablet, you can select an object or place that you want to go to. You can also place your own travel marker. When you click unlock new locations, use the travel tab on your ta tablet to move to another destination. In the travel options, you can select the day, time of day, the car you want to drive, and the hub from which you'll start your exploration. You can also use this tab to send fossils to the museum. Okay. Beauty. All right, this is the first hint. It'll be visible for a few seconds, then it will hide. Okay, it's been automatically saved. Okay, so tab. Notifications. Okay, messages. All right, welcome to the mining area. A few weeks ago, miners came across something that appears to be dinosaur remains. We've managed to get the quarry closed until the matter is dealt with. As neither the works nor the board of directors is happy about the lockdown, we have to act fast. The crew, which was initially assigned to the case, reports that the remains are most likely the bones of Ornithomimus. They had to leave, but according to their reports, there may be many undiscovered fossils in this area. Your job is relatively easy. Head to the area marked on your map and leave no stone unturned. The area is marked on your radar as well, so you shouldn't have problems finding it. The off-road car parked nearby is fueled and ready. We hope your work will be fruitful. With your help, we should be able to finally complete the full skeleton for our new museum. The missing bones that we're looking for are a hip bone, a right arm bone, and a vertebra. Okay, then we check out the knowledge tab. So in that area, there's going to take the car and follow the road. Okay, well, let's hop in. So far, it's very similar to um, the demo, the 2020 demo, just a lot more polished, a lot more hints and tips. Uh, that's right, we gotta hop out and chop this wood up. Okay, removing obstacles. Remove lying tree trunks with a chainsaw and use sledgehammer to break up rocks. Note the color of the interactive cursor when using the tools. When it is green, you can work. Okay. So, use your chainsaw, and the chainsaw is number two. It's 
So I assume that's the that's enough pieces. Yep. Okay. Uh, we can pick those up. Put them over here. Beauty. Let's go. B to lock the differential. Okay. All right. So we're in four wheel drive now. Ah, oh, that's a bit better. All right. Let's go back to two by four, two by two. Okay. Oh, uh oh, rocks. Oh god. Slow down. Okay. So let's get out. Uh, so now we need to use number three. All right, so let's get them out of the way. Very nice. Let's just scatter the rocks out of the way. There we go. Beautiful. Awesome. Okay, now I believe we turn down here. Oh god. Excavation area. Okay, there's a little waypoint in the map at the top compass, which is good. You're close to the exposure site, park your car in a designated spot. Okay. Alright, prepare the work for excavation. How do we do that? Was I supposed to not park right there? So, tips. Nope. And the tab. Messages. Marked area and leave no areas marked in rounds. Well, okay. So we don't need that stuff. Um, what is F? Oh, it's the torch. What's J? J is a drone. Oh, how cool. Ah, oh, that's so good. <laughs> How do we get it? There we go. Okay. Um, is this the excavation area? No. Oh. Bring your car to this place and start the excavation. I thought I did that. Ah, uh, hang on. Okay, we're gonna go back. Yeah, okay, so I've got a wait, what if I wonder if I walk there? What if I park here? And what happens if I... Oh, you can't. Okay, so you need to have the car there. Uh-oh. Let me in. Let me in. Aha. All right, so securing the area. Ah, here we go. Gotta mark out your dig site. Oh, it takes a while. So we can press space to. Here we go. All right. So we gotta search for stones. In the excavation area, use GPR to find the stones hidden underground. Place flags to mark their position. 
Dig the soil and sand with the shovel. Pay attention to the color of the cursor that indicates where you can use the tool. Use the pickaxe to search the rocky ground. Pay attention to the color of the cursor. And then identifying stones. Visual inspection at this stage will help you identify stones of other geologic periods so you can remove them quickly and watch out for hints. Okay. So we've got number... Why do we want number six? Ah... Uh, All right, let's sort of find the right area. I saw something before. I wonder what that is. Uh, so left button to place a flag. Hmm. Aha. So, how do we scan? So do we go to number three? Hmm, hang on, let me get the uh, so tab messages. We've received information that the area has already been secured and you can start the search right away. You're well prepared for the job. Your equipment includes a GPR, which you can scan the ground with, a shovel, a pickaxe, and plaster to secure your findings. But start your work with an initial GPR scan. If you find anything, dig it out and secure it with plaster. You will receive further instructions on fossil transportation in future messages. So let's get number six out again, and we'll go back to there. So it says here, right? Uh, six. All right, well, it's definitely here. Why can't I use the, the axe or the shovel or whatever? Oh. Did I not do enough? Yeah, I want to scan. So you do that, and then, uh, but you still, ah, uh, you gotta find the the. to find the actual rock oh aha uh -huh.
Well, I'm not seeing anything yet. Ah. Bloody hell, we've got an icon the whole time. left mouse button to put a flag down then use a shovel then do I use a pickaxe on it? Okay, detecting fossils. Fossils emit small amounts of radiation. This allows us to use a Geiger counter to research for them. It will indicate stones with the dinosaur bones. Use the trowel to remove the mud from the stone, preparing it for plastering. And after removing the mud, you can do a visual inspection of the stone again to find out what species you discovered. Inspection of small stones is done in your hands. Large stones you can expect the Geiger counter tool on the pallet. Okay, so we get the Geiger counter out. Ah, there's no bone in that rock. Boo! Okay, so that's a big fat boo boo. So can we just smash it? No. Damn. Okay, well, let's get the scanner out again. Okay, press the left button to mark a spot. Okay, so we got to clear them up with a trowel. Eight. Here we go. Okay, so we need to this here. Remove the stone from the rock. So eight. Okay. And then we pick it up. We rotate it. Oops. Oh god. Oh my gosh.
Okay, how do I do that? Here we go. Can't inspect the plastic stone. God damn it. How the heck do I get? Damn it, I'm gonna have to reload, I think. Oh, this sucks. All right, I'm gonna put that near the car anyway. Damn. Actually, no, you can't, you can't reload. Remove muck from the stone. Oh, 
I'm stuck in a hole. Um. There we go. Okay, so number eight. Okay, secure it now. Is secure it with plaster. Okay, now we gotta check the tablet. Once you're done with extracting and securing your findings with plaster, put them into boxes and use your car to transport them to the transport hub marked on your map. After you do this, use your tablet to send them away to the museum. All right, well, let's get this here. So we gotta to go to a box, crate pallets. Put it inside there and open the trunk and put the box into the car. So can I put more of this on there? Yep. May as well. Okay, let's go in here. Alright, let's put this on here. So we'll put it in the car. And the roof will do. And it automatically straps it down for you, that's great. Now we'll bring this one along because we've got something in, else in there. Now can we put it in inside? Alright, now we've got one more to get, I think. Uh, six. Is this more? Okay. Uh, oh. Okay, so it's in there. There it is. No, still not out. There we go. Oh, we can't get out again, can we? There we go. All right, let's... Ah, uh, put back. Okay, we're gonna remove the muck. So we got eight.
Let's go. Making progress. Okay, so we're going to close up the back and off we go. So, oh yeah, the, draw, the, the gate opens for us. Awesome. So, we're going to go all the way back to our first base. Luckily, this box is strapped down, Jeepers. All right, so we've got to remember we've got a four wheel drive section coming up. These games always have janky, janky control, like driving controls. But it's all right, that's not the focus. We sweet, why is back? There we go, get to that spot. So we park here. All right, now we've got to grab our stuff and put it in the piles. There. And here again. Okay. Open the tablet to leave this area. And transport fightings to the museum. Do you want to send crates to the museum? Yes. Let's go. Do you want to travel to the museum? Yes, I do. take me long to get to the museum, but even though the trip was quick, I couldn't stop thinking about the job. I was constantly preoccupied with collecting and preparing dinosaur bones. When I arrived at the museum's lab, it was time to start cleaning what I had found. It was a fascinating experience. It required a lot of time and attention, but the result was always worth the effort. Okay, so we're going to move the small crates, <clears throat> which we've already done. Prepare for cleaning. Remove plaster and extract fossil from the stone using the available tools. After extracting the fossil, make a decision who should clean this set of bones, you or the museum employee. And then if you clean the bones by hand, pay attention to the game controls in the upper left corner. Here you'll find some useful features such as focus mode and highlighting of uncleaned areas. Okay, go outside and bring the crates in. Okay. This is the spine set. All right, we'll put this down here. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so now we got to saw off the plaster, nice and gentle. Okay, now we've got to just gently tap away the the rock. Where to move the fossils? Fossil prep or manual clean? 
Let's do manual clean for this one just to see how it's evolved. All right, so we've got to get all of this stuff off. So it seems to be much quicker than the demo. For that bit anyway. Okay. Oh man, we've got a brush. Okay, brush each bit. Oh, okay, so it's, it is a lot quicker than single bone progress. How do you make it z rotate Q? And, there we go. That bit's done. Okay. Okay, so they have sped this up a lot, which is great, because it was very laborious before. Beautiful, that was heaps quicker. Okay. Uh, nice. Now, part two. So just gotta spray them. Oh wait, yeah, that's heaps quicker. I just gotta score the part, score the bones. So it's better to just like do every piece on the face that you can see, and then come back and we'll just rotate shortly, and that should knock them all off. It's cool though that it shows you each individual piece that you're highlighting, the percentage finish, that's good. Mm -hmm. Now we'll just do a quick rotate. And then clean the small, ah, oh, I see. Yes, this is not too painful at all. It's quite enjoyable. Especially if you're a paleontologist or dinosaur buff. Yeah, so they're not 100% getting cleaned, but obviously it's enough for the game to say, okay, you do, you're good. Oh, 96%. Okay, completing bone sets. When you're finished cleaning and assembling the set of bones, you can choose what you want to do with it. Take it from the stand to put it into the skeleton or store it in the museum storeroom, which you will manage... Manage using the control thing. Completing the dinosaur skeleton. Move it to the exhibition and then design. Okay, so let's uh, let's put this together. Okay, so it's still highlights, which is cool. Just so you get a hang of it. Beautiful. Uh, we're going to grab it. We're going to put it just, is it part of this skeleton? Oh, damn. All right. Oh, I didn't actually grab it. You fool. Beautiful. Okay, let's get the next bit. So this is the head. So let's get rid of this.
Beautiful. Very nice. Awesome. Okay. Chip away all this rock. Let's do fossil prep room. So I think that did it. Ah, look at this. So good. So in the meantime, we'll grab this. That's awesome. I wonder if we can hire more employees to make it faster because that's still doing this thing. Uh, museum employees clean the fossils, wait until he's done, and they finish, get them back and complete the dinosaur. Okay, so let's go send the rest off. So, is that done? Assemble. Okay. Right. Oh, I mean, it's, so it's already clean. Oh, it's so good. Oh, that's so much better. So honestly, it took me like an hour and a half just to do this first mission in the demo. So I'm already halfway there, 47 minutes. Oh man, that's so good. Ha! Huh. That is amazing. That right there is a game changer. Beautiful. Okay, I'll we'll grab it and we'll put it here. The museum I was doing my internship in was getting ready for renovation. I was afraid my classes were about to be cut because of that. I couldn't have been more wrong about this one. Turns out, the exhibition hall was being revamped and I was asked to participate in the redecoration. But that's not all of it. We were also given a second complete skeleton of Orthothomimus. Two dinosaurs for one display? Well, let's just say, all the pictures of dinosaur life I'd studied as a kid came to life in my head. I decided to just give in to my imagination. Okay, find Pallet Jack and pick up the box. So we're going to... Oh, this is new. I got it. There we go. All right, use the touch screen. Ah. Okay, setting up the skeleton. Take a look at the controls shown in the upper left corner to learn how to change skeleton poses, mirror, rotate, etc. Click on the decoration symbols placed in the lower left corner to choose decorations and switch between editing modes. 
Grayed out decorative elements will be unlocked as the prestige of the museum increases. You can rotate and scale almost every decoration and exposition item. Follow the control tips in the upper left corner. And if you want to edit one of the multiple displays, highlight with a, with a click while you are in exposition editing mode. All right, so we've got exposition design. And we're going to place, we've got two of them. Here we go. Uh, put one there. Oh, we're going to change it to green and uh, the plants. Let's put one of these in. And then let's put one of those in. Trees, no, gra grass. We want grass in there? Nah, surely not. Uh, and water plants, nothing. Okay, um, back, back, and then we're going to place the second one. Like that, we're going to make it gravel this time. Let's put some of these in. Actually, let's just do like that. And let's get some grass in there. Yeah, that looks cool. Um, back. Interior design. So we've got wooden floorboards. Decorations. Let's put a bench. Just there. And a plant next to it. In the corner. See one of these. Sweet. Oh. And there is our collectible. Which will be the first fossil we ever found, just there. Okay. Sweet. So we got our very first fossil, dinosaur claw fossil. Then we got our two dinosaurs, that's so good. Oh, then we'll go here. That was the last day of my internship. A great adventure just came to an end. The night I was packing to go home, the telephone in my room rang. I couldn't believe it. The director called to ask me to stay and help the museum build a bigger skeleton. There was a vacant position because one of the workers got sick. I felt bad for the guy, but I was so glad there was a chance to work in the museum for longer. The decision was a no-brainer. I went to the museum the next day. Although the place wasn't new to me, this particular moment felt different. It was the first time I was asked to enter the museum's workshop. With my heart pounding and my hands sweating, I walked towards the door. Okay, so... Oh, this is our museum workshop. Whoa! I've got to admit, the bigger skeleton the director was talking about was indeed a huge one. I was dumbstruck when I was faced with the legendary Tyrannosaurus. Even in my dreams, I would never fathom that our museum was in possession of such a treasure. All right. So, complete the T-Rex skeleton. Oh, I see there's parts on the floor, right? -o. So we'll put that there. Noise.
You can exit the museum. How cool. Crap. A completed skeleton of Tyrannosaurus looked majestic, and I had the honor to contribute to it. Yet another beautiful moment that has been etched in my memory forever. Okay, what's next? I graduated from college at the age of 24. I was pretty amped up. My marks were great, so I didn't anticipate any problems finding a job, but that was about to change soon. For the first six months after graduation, my focus was to find a job in the field of paleontology, or at least something that relates to it. I submitted my resume for every paleontologist job I could find, but the jobs were either already taken or I lacked the experience. After six months, I started looking for any job, but that also didn't come easily. I was trying hard, but to no avail. One year after graduation, things finally started to turn around, although it wasn't exactly how I had imagined it. Can we go in the house, I guess, or go in the container? Nothing. We'll go in the house. Huh? Go in the door. There we go. Grandfather left his car workshop to me in his will. I wasn't particularly talented when it came to the automotive world, but I knew a thing or two, and at that time, the thought of becoming a car mechanic was at least something. He had a lot of weird and crazy ideas. There was one time Grandpa bought an old Russian truck that was clearly beyond fixing, but that didn't scare him. He always used to tell us he'd finally finish repairing it. Unfortunately, his body didn't catch up with his spirit, and he had to pass on his little project. I decided to clean up the workshop for him. Alright, so we are cleaning up the workshop. Uh, we're going to put this in... Where? Gosh. So is there like a method to the madness? Ah. Wonder if we're uh, restoring the truck or not. What does that mean? Scrap. No space. There we go. So what am I supposed to do? Just essentially cleaning it up. God, this is a big job. Oh! Wait a minute. There's our mate. I found the lost fossil piece that I found during the school trip. Despite it being over 15 years ago, I felt the exact same mix of excitement and joy that I'd felt on that beach years ago. The desire to search for fossils has become immediately obvious. With full force, all my problems suddenly ceased to exist, and I quickly came up with a plan. I just had to put it into action. I started implementing my plan by acquiring a set of excavation tools. This was possible thanks to a garage sale. Very nice. Uh, paleontology newspaper. This is all new now. This is all beyond the demo. Check your desk from time to time. You may find a paleontology newspaper with an interesting article lying on it. In the parking lot, you can change the color of vehicles. Once you get the best versions of the tools, you will also be able to recolor them at the garage. In the room next to the garage and in the museum, you can see a map on the wall. It will show available locations that you can travel to via the travel tab on your tablet. 
You can also find here collectible items discovered during research expeditions and statuettes received for the discovery of a new dinosaur species. Cool. All right. So we've got that one there is what we've worked on already, which is cool. And let's go here. The dinosaur skeletons are waiting to be discovered. Uh, how do I, do I just, while working in the quarry, the workers stumbled upon rocks with visible fragments of fossil bones. They immediately informed their manager about the discovery who contacted the Center of Geological Sciences. A few days later, scientists arrived at the site and attributed the bones to a dinosaur of the species Ormithomimus. That's what we did. Okay. Oh, did we turn the page? No, no, no. Escape. Okay. Aha, choose a toy. Uh, that one. Hard. Yeah. Alright. So that was fun. Uh we've got this one here. Do we just draw one, do we? Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Very similar to the one I drew before, but oh well. Okay. Okay. And then <laughs> T-Rex arms. Uh-huh. And then we can exit. So that's a good shot. And then we can change our car. So let's make it a blue color. Yeah, that's it. Like a blue. Yeah, that one. Cool. Done. And. Wow, you can change the big, big truck color. I like that color there. Nice. So what's in here? Nice clean get ah this is where we do our work. Okay, what do we do here? Um Oh gosh. Oh you can change the tool colours, alright. And then in here oh we're back to here. Unlocked the ability to travel to the quarry. This is an abandoned zone, stone quarry. During excavation works, rich deposits of fossils from late Cretaceous rocks 
Maastrichtian stage have been found here at the different depths. So we got there's an Omnithomonus edmontonicus and an unknown species. Okay, vehicle is grandpa's pickup. Time is day, mostly cloudy. Location, view info. Cool. Uh, the quarry hub, travel. What's management? Oh, wow. Holy dooly. So I've got no XP. I'm level one with no XP. So I've got to, I guess I've got to do this. Uh, travel. Awesome. The newspaper I found while cleaning the garage gave me an idea to call my university professor. During our conversation, it turned out that he was about to start a new phase of research in exactly the same place as before. However, a lot has changed since then. The quarry has been closed and the underground search for fossils will be conducted at a deeper level than before. Despite the limited budget he had at his disposal, we reached an agreement and I signed the contract. Okay. So it starts us away from our vehicle. So this, the fuel station is here. Chests and excavation equipment. Okay, an important part of the hub is the laptop workstation. Here you can change your car or use the fast travel option when you are not this feature on tablet. Fuel tanks are used to refuel fuel canisters. On the hub, you'll find the equipment necessary to set up your excavation, as well as empty boxes for transporting fossils. Put the crates with the fossils that you want to transport. Oh my gosh. So, am I going to need, oh, okay, car managing station. So you can switch a car and you can fast travel. Pack digging tool. Okay, this is what I was my question. Oh, did I do it? Oh, so it's already there, so it's just one click. Okay, and then pick up canister. I'll put that onto the car, so we've got fuel. Very nice. Eat close. And then I assume we're off to the dig site. Let's drive there and then I'll end the series there. Okay. So we've got mine office. Oh. Hmm. Okay, let's go, let's go full. Oh, rocks. Oh, very nice. Being in the mine, without any problem, I noticed the excavation area in its lowest part. This is where I was to start my search. A few days earlier, a strong wind had destroyed the excavation equipment. Uh. So my first job was to clean up the exploration area and set up a new fence. Huh. All right, then. Well, I'm going to leave it there for my first look at Dinosaur Fossil Hunter. I'm glad to see it's evolved a lot since the demo, which is awesome. So, yeah, I'll have to figure out how I can get down that way. That's easy. Sweet. All right. Let's go back to the main menu. Let's save. Save the game so we don't lose anything. Whoops. I like calling my save game stop. I've done it forever. Okay, main menu. Yes. All right. Well, my name is Inferno. 
thanks for watching this playthrough of Dinosaur Fossil Hunter. It's now version 2.1 on Steam. And thank you to Pyramid Games for the review key. It is awesome. So I'm going to keep playing this um, and see how we go. I like, I like that there's a sandbox museum. You can go to the workshop. Very cool. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.